What's going on, socialites? Ryan here, getting ready for our week three match. Your Boston Braviaries taking on the Charm City Charizards. Both of these teams, 2 and 0. Oh. Taking a look at Charm City's team. They are a Sun team, but they made a couple changes this week. They picked up Latios, dropping Torkoal. So now their only consistent Sunsetter is Ninetales. They do have a couple Pokemon, of course, that can learn Sunny Day. And they dropped Magmar for Electrode, giving them a fast Electric type. But um, Electrode's not, like, too threatening to us. So I'm um, looking at this. I'm definitely a little more concerned about this team than I was against the Rain team. Um, I feel like... Our team is really good set up to go against Rain in particular. Sun, they got a little more going on. You can kind of differentiate some stuff, right? You're not just a bunch of water types. Um, you got Grass, you got Fire. As you see, they do still have Starmie on there, who can still hit hard with Choice Specs, Hydro Pumps, Analytic stuff. Um, and they picked up Latias, who I, I told them to, to pick it up. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I, I, I think it's a good pickup and... It's a shame that no one took it in the A tier there. But, yeah, what what I expect is I expect them to bring those five on the left plus Steelix. Um, Steelix gives them a pretty consistent rock setter. Our deal is just to get rocks up, and then we got to make sure Starmie or Latias can't remove them. Latias can run Defog. Starmie, of course, can Rapid Spin. Um, so we're bringing a couple different rock setters. That way we can just keep the pressure up with rocks. And, yeah, hopefully... We can take that. Uh, the Victory Bell set worries me a little bit. We got some stuff to take care of Charizard, even if it is Scarf. Um, Victory Bell, it'll be a lot more helpful if it's modest and not timid. I'll just say that much when it comes to the speed ratings. But yeah, let's go find Zach, get in the battle, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, Socialite, so we're getting in the game here. You see our team there. Posted up on the left. What I'm expecting him to bring on the right. Let's see how right we are. Oh, he actually brings... Whoa, okay. This is totally different. This is very different. So he didn't bring Latios and he didn't bring Victory Bell. Well, not having Victory Bell really kind of helps us. Um, like I said, I feel like... If it was between Timid and Modest, our strategies would have really changed here. Um, Articuno is good against our Gliscor, but can't really do anything against Empoleon. Hmm, I was not thinking he would bring that. Let's just lead off with Gliscor and we'll take it from there. He leads off with Starmie. Which I'm gonna assume is probably Specs. Going for the Surf here. Let's see, doesn't seem to do that much to us. So we Surf instead of Hydro Pump, I assume. It is Life Orb though. So he could have Thunderbolt here. make the double fucking dogs get the hell out of here oh my god can't can't have nothing nice all right so he actually switches out into registeel so that makes me think he doesn't have thunderbolt then We 
Registeel shouldn't be able to do too much to us with anything. We could Volt Switch here. He stays in. He might be trying to get rocks up. We could go back into Empoleon here. Oh, he goes for a hammer arm. He's like defensive or specially defensive or I Man, I don't want to take another hammer arm. It was for lock on. Okay, did did he just catch this like fresh and just threw it in there? Like why do you have lock on? not going to do anything for you. Uh, at least not against my Gliscor here. So he should probably switch out here. Yep. So something's going to get knocked off. Let's see what decides to come in. It's Starmie. Starmie's going to take a big knock off here. I like to see that. Knocked off the Life Orb. We can actually survive a Surf or Ice Beam. And knock it out. I think it's kind of too early to try to do that. So we can always just go back into Empoleon. Now that the Life Orb is knocked off, uh, Starmie's not as threatening. Rick Room. Okay. I have no idea with, with this guy. Like... Whatever you want to do, dude. Whatever you want to do. We KO Starmie. Felix comes in, easiest glitch score of my life. Gonna probably get rocks up here. Like, look, look how weak his team is to rocks now that he brought this Articuno. We get the rocks up and we're looking real good. Felix literally can't do like anything to glitch score. Get the rocks up here. Goes into Articuno, that's fine. Look at that, Gliscor almost back up to full. Another easy peasy Empoleon.
should probably just freeze dry again. Articuno. That is doing a, well that was a crit, but it still seemed to be doing a lot of damage. I still think Empoleon's like important, so I'm not gonna just like sacrifice it here. he wants to try to switch it out. He could be trying to go nine tails here. I mean nine tails in the sun we would have still really done a lot of damage with sacred fire so maybe we should have just kept it in. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, he goes in Registeel. Wow, ballsy-ass play on his part, but I mean, it, it works out for him. Like, why do you make that play? Of all the plays you can make, why do you make that play? That just seems like the worst play. Like, Steelix is a better play than that. Registeel really doesn't have anything he can do to us. We can knock off again. We we gotta start playing faster though because he's um he has no offense on his team. Like look look at it. It's Char Charizard's his offense here. Like this game's gonna go to time because he brought this like shitty ass team. That like yeah they're gonna be forever to wear down, but. Like, he, he can't beat us with, with what he has here. He's taking forever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to text him, because this, this is gonna go to time. I can already feel it. Explodes. Fine by me. So he blows up Red Steel, getting really no value out of that Pokemon. Like you, did he not have rocks on it? I guess not, because his last one was probably Zap Cannon. Again, looks like he literally just freshly caught that out of the den. He goes back to Articuno, who takes huge rocks damage. Absolutely massive rocks damage. Mawile seems like a pretty safe mid-ground. I'd rather keep Entei kind of healthy. 
Because eventually when that sun comes up and we can just start hitting things. for the blizzard, maybe looking for a freeze chance. Taking down Articuno. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. The roost doesn't really do anything for you in that position. Okay, he finally gets the sun up. I want to keep Mawile around. Just because it can sucker punch things when it gets to lower health. So I think what we do here is we go Entei. He goes for a nasty plot. Uh, he, he could be timid. But he still shouldn't be able to KO us, and really, like, Sacred Fire is going to just nuke everything. We survive on a crit. That's a plus two crit we survived. Thank you for almost giving me a heart attack. Goes in Charizard. Charizard's gonna take big damage here. He is Scarf. We know that. Um, I think Electivire is the weakest link here. resist this too which is kind of nice shouldn't matter too much though he should be able to kill us with whatever he goes for another air slash he's actually able to pick up the KO he must have gone a low roll on that first one um, we can go into Miss Magius here, who's faster, or we could go Mawile. Mawile's Sucker Punch from this range should be okay. Because I don't want to give up that the Miss Magius is Scarf. We'll go Entei. Entei is safer. In case he's nutty and wants to switch. Right now we just got Steelix. Um, probably going to be hitting the three minutes soon. So we won't end up going to time here. Which is good. I was a little worried. I mean, it helped that he blew up the Registeel. That breaks the sturdy. Now we got a real easy Gliscor play here. And then from here, we should be okay. We can knock off just to see, confirm that it's Custap or not. Yep. We can roost here. Just to 
not get a random crit to kill us. He's hitting these Iron Tails, though. I mean, good, good for him. Drop. Okay, so we're gonna have to switch out. Into Empoleon here. And then switch back in. <laughs> or we could just kill it. Yeah, now now we just kill it with Surf. Awesome. So a clean sweep in game one. Like to see that. Like I said, I was a little worried we were gonna be hitting the timer, but him blowing up that Registeel uh, accelerated that. So I don't think it was the best play on his end, but it was a play. So we're gonna get back in. Um, it's nice we did not show that we are scarfed on the Miss Magia, so he doesn't have that information. Um, what did he leave with last time, Starmie? Here. See what he goes for. He starts with Steelix this time. Always got the free Gliscor here. Gets up his Stealth Rocks. He was prioritizing that this time, but we're going to do the same. Okay, it looks like he's staying in here. What's he going for? Is he going for a Crunch, an Iron Tail? Iron Tail, but we miss. I mean, it is like 70 whatever percent accurate. Like, Steelix lost Heavy Slam in this generation, so that really hurts it. I, I think it still gets Iron Head, though. I could be wrong, but... I mean, at least that's consistent damage. Yeah, it's 20 points weaker, but you're not gonna miss. Okay, he switches out here. Going to Articuno, so Articuno's gonna take this knockoff. And these rocks. This might. I don't think it'll knock it out, but. Icicle plate. Interesting. Okay. Um. He has to roost here. I don't think we have to defog yet. Oh, he stays in, actually. All right, so we take out Articuno here. That just really opens up Gliscor. 
once again. You know, I, I, I even messaged him because he was saying that on Monday he hadn't caught Latias yet. So I messaged him this morning, I was like, hey, like, I even told him on Monday, I was like, hey, I'll give you my Latias if you don't get one, because I want, like, a fair battle. So I, I want to make sure, like, I hope he, I asked him this morning if he was able to get it. Oh, he actually hits the zap cannon just right off, but... <laughs> and gets the paralysis on us, which really kind of stinks. Thought he was going to go for a hammer arm. Oh, again, that paralysis really hurts. Like, why would you go for Zapcan there? I got two switch-ins to that, and Gliscor is probably the freest switch-in on you. I don't know. Bring Steelix back out. Shadow Ball doing that um, animation is kind of cool. Like how it kind of like rose up to his face. <laughs> and we're actually faster even with the paralysis. Thanks to the uh, choice scarf there. But we take out Steelix. So if we do decide to defog then and get rocks back up. I don't want to get rocks up though with Charizard still around. Like it's way too risky. Goes into nine tails. Getting the sun up. And I'm just gonna keep shadow balling. Um, it shouldn't be able to. Oh, it. it oh yeah, we. I forgot it. It had shadow ball too. Whoa, we survived. Break through. Break through. This is really risky. Oh man, having um... Having Miss Maggie is weak really hurts us in this Charizard endgame. Which is out. This is in the sun. Um, I don't think this Registeel is going to appreciate this. Sun boosted, Sacred Fire, Choice Ban. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. What was in the Starmie? Trick Room, Surf, I assume Psychic, maybe. Remember, that's with the Analytic Boost, too. I don't think he has Thunderbolt. But I feel like he would have done that earlier in this game. Rapid spins the rocks away. So now now I'm going to defog on um, this next turn so that the rocks aren't on our side, too. The 
it's on my face, so he might go into hard nine tails here. I think we still just defog here. Yeah, it goes for the psychic, this isn't gonna do anything. Is that a crit? Yeah. <laughs> He's getting the crits though, I mean, got, gotta give him, the game is trying for him. Right now, since he removed his own rocks, I'll remove mine. We're gonna protect this next turn, just to heal back a little bit. Might be trying to get some special defense drops here. Protect again, and then I'm going to make the hard switch into a Mawile. And try to get our rocks back up here. back up here because he can just surf really easily um, in that case we just sucker punch to get the KO here okay we sucker punch get the KO he's got to bring out nine tails first I, I think he's gonna switch here. Wow, he just goes for the Shadow Ball. I mean, that seems like a dumb play to me. I mean, why, why wouldn't you at least Flamethrower if you're gonna attack? All right, so it's just Charizard. Unfortunately, it's at full health, and our Miss Magius is paralyzed. Um, we still have the Focus Sash on Electivire. So let's see here. Charizard. Thunder Punch is basically a guaranteed KO, so we can Sucker Punch, kill ourselves, go into Electivire, and Thunder Punch. Ha! No KO for you. I die on my own terms. Entei might also even be able to KO here, but... Yeah, and Entei would also be a guaranteed KO, but... There is potential that it would die. Uh, well, no, because that has extreme speed. So, but... Anyway. We just do this. No burn, thunder punch, bop. And another devastating win 
for your Boston Braviaries. We we had to give up Mawile there at the end, unfortunately. Um, we probably could have swapped into Entei. Nah, it would have been too risky. All right, but GG's to uh, Charm City. I'm gonna ask him why he didn't bring Latios and Victory Bell, but yeah. As always, thanks for watching everybody. Stay classy.